What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's time to talk USN Battleship Split. News of this has been out for a while. The ships have been in testing. Many of the CCs have been testing them. Many of the super testers have been testing them. I played the Vermont once, and that's it. And I haven't had a chance to play the other ones. So I'm not going to talk about how they play, and I can't show you the gameplay anyways. But I'm going to show you the ships themselves, I'm going to show you the stats, and I'm going to talk about what could have been, and what I would have preferred. And right now, right off the bat, you're looking at the Vermont, the Vermonter with its giant guns and its extremely slow reload, and I might touch on these ships as I showcase them, but, you know, I think Wargaming missed a huge opportunity here. And I, I, I don't want to... This isn't going to be a bash wargaming video. This is going to be just a strictly my opinion, Zoop's opinion, on the split line and what I personally would have liked to have seen. I mean, I, I'm happy that wargaming is even doing a split. You know, for a while it didn't look like we'd get one. And now we've got this split that's somewhat unique. The ships are different, albeit paper ships. And I, I know how some of you all feel about paper ships. But for, for me, you know, I was excited at first. And I've been excited about the prospect. And look at this maximum speed right here. 23 knots. 23 knot maximum speed at tier 10 in a battleship. You know, everybody's going on about the reload. I, I don't have an issue with the reload so much as this maximum speed. I mean, what am I supposed to do with a ship that only goes with 24 knots with Sierra Mike's, a battleship? I mean, what can you escape with that? Or a Burgoyne would, like, run this thing down and run into the ground. But I digress. So, you know, I, I, I'm glad that Wargaming's doing a split, but... You know, now that I've found out about the split and the ships in the split and the fact that they're all paper, I'm, I'm a little disappointed. And I, I'm a little disappointed because here in the U.S., I mean, let's face it, we've got a lot of historical battleships that did a lot of cool things in World War II, a lot of which are still around, and I really think they deserve to make it in the game some way, some shape, somehow. This is not them. This is a paper line. I wanted real ships, ships that did stuff, ships that I, I have read about their exploits, like USS Washington and the fact that it's the only battleship that has sunk another battleship in ship-to-ship -ship combat in World War II. I, I mean, stuff like that. And I was really, really hoping for a battleship split with a secondary-focused line. You know, sh ships that are similar to the Massachusetts. I, I think that would have been unique. You know, starting off with USS Tennessee down at, like, what, Tier 6? I, I think they could have worked it in. We've got the California. It makes sense that the Tennessee, the only other Tennessee-class ship in the game, could have been in there. And now we're looking at the Minnesota, which kind of looks like a Tennessee. It's got that very fat and thick look to it, and obviously where they're going. It would have been fun to have had the the Tennessee in there with a secondary loadout, you know, with a max secondary range that excelled, and then moving up on the line, I envision ships like maybe at Tier 7, the fully upgraded West Virginia that we never got, that said it was being made, but I still haven't seen anything on it. Could have had that in a secondary loadout. And then at Tier... What are we at now? Tier 8? Yeah, Tier 8. We could have had USS Washington with a secondary loadout. Or accurate guns or something, I don't know. And yes, it, it's we've already got that ship in there, but it would still be a little different. And then at Tier 9, we could have put New Jersey in there, or Wisconsin. Two ships that are still around, two ships that many people have visited. And we could have given it the secondary treatment. And yes, it would be another Iowa ship, but it would be a secondary Iowa, and it would give you something different from the Missouri with its radar, and the base Iowa with its, well, I, I don't know what it has. Maybe they'd have to give it something special, and moving on, here we here we go. What Which ship is this? I don't know. It looks Japanese with this funnel. What an odd-looking paper ship. That, that funnel looks straight up Japanese. I can see hints of New Mexico in there. But this is the Kansas. No, we're not in Kansas anymore. 
and that would have been the tier nine. I would have been happy with another Iowa class ship up there, or maybe something else. I, I don't know. And then at tier ten, there you could work in your paper ship, kind of like Montana. But no, that's not what we got. And you know, again, I, I'm wargaming did what they thought was best. I, I know that the rest of the world outside of the U.S. probably doesn't give a flying monkey about what ships we still have available to visit as museum ships and what our ships did in World War II. They, they probably don't care as much, and they might be happy with the paper ship treatment. But personally, I, I'm not. I'm not. I, I love history. I love World War II history. I love... The ships that we have, the things that they've done, reading about them, and playing them. And one of the reasons I love Massachusetts so much is I've been on the Massachusetts. I've been on the Iowa. I've been on the Wisconsin. I've been on the New Jersey. New Jersey's like three hours from me. Same with Wisconsin. I've been on those ships, and they mean something to me. They're important to me. And that's why I love them so much in-game. And here's the Florida premium, which uh, this this one actually seems similar to the uh, rest of the USN ships we have. And I, I would have preferred that the split be similar to this if it was a paper slip. Or slip. <laughs> yeah, it is a paper slip. A paper split. I, I would have preferred something similar to this. You know, faster ships. But that's not what we got. It's not what we got. We, we got something else, and I, I honestly... I'm trying to figure out why, why or how I'm going to get enjoyment out of this line of ships. And I just don't think I am. And you might have heard my cat, Mr. Onyx, running around here. Me out a couple times. He's uh, he's kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I'm going to give him a try still, but I, I just don't... I can't get behind super slow battleship platforms that might have huge hitting guns, but that's not the point for me. The point is the whole paper side of thing. Zuh. And I, I just, I can't get behind paper ships. Especially for the USN, when we've got so many real battleships that need to be in the game because they decimated the Japanese fleet. I mean, these, these ships did stuff. Real stuff. You don't need paper ships for the USN. You just don't. So creating an entire tier split based on that, it just doesn't fly for me. I want to know your thoughts, though. What, what do you think about this split? Are you happy that we have a split? Are you a little disappointed with the ships we're getting? Or are you fine with paper ships? I want to know. I, I'm very interested because I, I feel a lot of players here in the U.S. Are, are more similar to my line of thought, or at least some of my followers I, who have voiced their opinion on it. They really wanted a split with secondaries or real ships. And I'm just adding a captain to the Florida now. I'm interested in the uh, lowest detectability on it, which I suspected would be pretty low. 12.1 is not that bad. Uh, and the CCs are actually enjoying Florida right now. A, a lot of good things to say about them. Not quite sure about the other ships. Uh, I know they've been playing them, but I, I've seen a lot of good feedback about the Florida. So this might be a premium to keep your eyes on. Um, it does seem fun. But let me know what you think. Zoop out.